Have a good day, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we face a grave reality. The world of modern technology is not as innocent as it seems. Demons are listening. Yes, they are listening, watching, and waiting. Social media, which we often view as a harmless tool, has become a snare. It listens to our conversations, reads our messages, and whispers temptations into our ears. These platforms draw us in, leading us away from the church, leading us away from God. The dangers are real. The risks are great. In this article, we will uncover the spiritual and moral threats hidden in our daily digital lives. We will explore how these platforms trap us in addiction and pull us away from the light of Christ. Before we begin, let us take a moment to close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts. Grant us wisdom to see the dangers that lie hidden in the world around us. Grant us strength to resist the temptations that pull us away from you. Guide us back to the path of righteousness, where your light shines bright and true. Keep us close to you, Lord, and protect us from the snares of this world. In your holy name we pray. Amen. In the vast landscape of the digital age, we find ourselves in a new battleground, where social media has become a powerful tool of the enemy. Platforms like Facebook have honed their craft, employing algorithms that listen to our every word, lurking in the shadows like a serpent in the garden. Imagine, for instance, a conversation you might have with a friend, speaking casually about a product or idea. In no time, Facebook, with its unseen ears, presents you with posts and ads that echo your recent words, drawing you deeper into its web of influence. This is no coincidence. It is a calculated move, a subtle manipulation designed to steer you away from the path of righteousness. The danger lies not only in this invasion of privacy, but in the content these algorithms push upon us. They feed our minds with distractions, temptations, and messages that chip away at our faith and moral values. What begins as a harmless scroll through a feed soon becomes an obsession, pulling us away from the sacred time meant for God. The allure of the digital world is intoxicating, consuming our time and attention like a thief in the night. We find ourselves addicted to our devices, eyes glued to screens, while the light of Christ dims in our hearts. This addiction does not merely steal our time, it steals our soul's devotion. As we become more engrossed in this digital world, the church and its teachings slowly fade from our lives. The Sunday Mass, once a cornerstone of our week, is replaced by endless hours online. Personal prayer, once a daily refuge, is neglected, lost in the noise of notifications and updates. In these moments, we turn away from God, inching closer to the darkness that lurks beyond the glow of our screens. Let us be vigilant, for the enemy is cunning, and the stakes are nothing less than our eternal souls. In the ever-growing shadow of social media, a danger greater than we realize looms over us, beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. As we immerse ourselves in this digital world, a spiritual void begins to grow within us, slowly draining the light of Christ from our hearts. This is not just a loss of time. It is a loss of the soul's connection to God. The more we allow ourselves to be consumed by the flickering screens, the more we drift away from the teachings of our Lord. Christian values, once the cornerstone of our lives, begin to erode, replaced by shallow and fleeting distractions. Scripture warns us in Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Each moment spent in this digital void is a moment stolen from our communion with God, a moment lost to the forces of darkness that seek to pull us away from His light. But this void is not merely emptiness. It is a breeding ground for evil. The metaphor of demons listening is apt, as these platforms act as agents of darkness, whispering temptations into our ears. Just as the serpent in Eden whispered lies to Eve, social media subtly erodes our faith, enticing us with the forbidden fruit of worldly pleasures. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, 
as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. 1 Peter 5 verse 8. This is spiritual warfare. The battle for our souls is being fought in the digital realm, where these platforms become weapons in the hands of the enemy, pulling us away from the path of righteousness. We must remember Romans 12 verse 2, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We must resist, turn our hearts back to God, and anchor ourselves in his unchanging truth before it is too late. Beloved brothers and sisters, the call to return to God is both urgent and unmistakable. We must become fully aware of the dangers that social media poses to our spiritual well-being. Social media is a relentless force, ceaselessly luring us away from the light of Christ. It distracts us, tempts us, and leads us into ever-deepening darkness. We must remain vigilant, steadfast in our resolve to guard our hearts and souls against this pervasive threat. Set boundaries now. Limit your time online. Protect the precious moments meant for God and family. This is not merely a suggestion. It is a vital necessity. Our spiritual health hinges on our ability to shield ourselves from these distractions. Renew your commitment to the church. Attend services regularly. Engage wholeheartedly in community worship and practice personal prayer with sincerity and dedication. The church stands as our refuge and sanctuary. It is where we find solace and strength. We must return to it, embracing its sacred embrace. Turn to the Bible and pray with earnestness. Let them be your guiding light in this tumultuous digital age. Scripture and prayer offer clarity, strength, and direction. They provide the divine guidance we desperately need. Seek God through the teachings of the Bible. Pray fervently, pouring out your heart to Him. Let your faith be your steadfast anchor in these stormy times. The time to act is now. The call to turn back to God is clear and pressing. Embrace the light of Christ. Resist the darkness that seeks to envelop us. Your soul's salvation and peace of mind depend on it. Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, the time has come to confront a grave and urgent reality. Social media, with its ever-present allure and hidden dangers, is drawing countless souls away from the light of God. This digital world, with its whispers and temptations, threatens to lead us into spiritual darkness. We must recognize this peril and resist it with all our might. The battle is fierce and the stakes are high, for it is not just our time that is at risk, but our very souls. Yet, Amidst this storm of distraction and temptation, there is hope. Our Lord Jesus Christ stands as a beacon of light, offering us a way out of the shadows. Through Him, we find strength to overcome these seductive traps and renew our commitment to a life of faith. In Christ, we discover true fulfillment and the promise of salvation. Let us turn to Him with steadfast hearts, casting off the chains of digital addiction and embracing the grace that he offers. In his light, we shall find the path to peace and true joy.